All right, guys, welcome back to Dragon Tails Fishing. So today I've got the installation of the 1103 done on the Hobie Pro Angler 360, the 12 foot version. Check this out. There she is. Hobie Pro Angler. In all its glory has never set foot on the water. So I installed the Yak Gadget mount, like I said, and I got the 1103 right there in all of its glory. So the first thing you needed was the Yak Gadget piece. They didn't give you the mount for the Pro Angler uh, because their kit only comes with what you need to install the uh, the motor on any particular vessel. So they can't give you the mount. So you got to go online, try to find your own mount. For mine, I used a different mount, but it was before they came out with this one. So this one's by Yak Gadget. Mine, mine was the one made by uh, Hobie itself. As you can see here, I modified it painted it the color of mine uh, and I've got the uh, Newport Vessels version of, and it's the smaller one because when I bought this one uh, that one uh, they didn't have the 1103 out the Torquedo had just been out for a little while and uh, yeah so I went with that mount yeah so you can see there the uh, the mounts are a little different uh, but you can choose whatever mount you want uh, I went with the Hobie one as you can see moving up the lines all run down the uh, side of the kayak. I utilized uh, these points here on the uh, paddle holder uh, to run my lines through because I don't like to drill any holes. So uh, as you can see here, my brake or my reverse cord actually gets tied up into here and hooks onto the mount. So if he wants to disengage the, re the uh, reverse, all he's got to do is just drop the cord. If he wants to put it back up, he just puts it back right up into the uh, slot there. It's hard to do it with one hand outside and holding the camera, but as you can see there, that's where that holds on to. The one thing that I also noticed is when uh, you buy this setup, they don't give you a mount for your control box. So what I had to do was I had to cut a piece of starboard, attach Velcro right between here to this and this, so I could just pull this off anytime I want. And then I had to buy a new mount. Uh, some guys use the uh, ram mount uh, with the Hobie attachment to it. I did that on mine. As you can see here, I used the uh, ram mount version on that one. Same setup. Uh, they don't give you a mount for it, so I had to cut a piece of starboard. I color matched it just like I did on the other Hobie, and that's your ram mount version of it. I went with this version because it was just a little bit easier, and uh, I think it was a little bit cheaper, not if, I, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, yeah, that's that one. I attached the uh, lanyard here. He could put this on his vest if he chooses to. Uh, that just goes right there simply. I put mine right there uh, and attach it to my vest when I'm using it. So here's the fa my favorite part of this whole setup is this right here. Yeah, the anchor wizard. Yeah, so how do I use that with this? So check this out. So you see I got the motor in the up position. All I do is just a couple turns. Let's see if I can get this both in the picture here. In the opposite direction. And there you go. She's dropped down in place. Ready to go. That is so cool. Love it. Love it. I want it back up. Same thing. Got to move this out of the way. Couple cranks in the... The opposite direction, and up comes the motor. Boom, done. So other than that, that's it. 
battery sits in the back right here anywhere you want it i could put it there i could put it towards the back put my cooler right here that's usually how i do it and yeah there you go torquedo 1103 installed there you go here's another really good thing about this motor look how quiet that thing is that's full throttle full throttle i don't know if you can see it because it looks like it's standing still but that's how loud this motor is wow how impressive is that yeah man turn it off boom done There you go, guys. Installation of the 1103 by Torquedo. Equivalent to a three horsepower, man. That's gonna move this kayak like you wouldn't believe, man. I can't wait to put it on the water. Which reminds me, if you haven't yet, like and subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna be doing a review video of this kayak on the water. And then I'm gonna also try to do a video, hopefully he'll let me do it, uh, of my kayak just to see how much power you get from the 1103 compared to the 1.8. Uh, version of the Newport Vessels version. Oh yeah, check that out. Alright guys, until next time, thank you for watching Dragon Tales Fishing. Uh, please like and subscribe and see you on the next vid.